I discovered yoga in 1999 and um, I'd been studying Buddhist meditation and Taoist meditation for a number of years but could not really sit still at all even though I loved the philosophy and the ideas. Um, and I was partying a lot at that time in the rave scene and taking a lot of psychedelic type drugs. And when I decided to stop taking all those drugs and was suddenly left with just myself, that was right about the time that I had a friend suggest that I check out Brian's class at Power Yoga. So I happened to walk into the studio. I was not athletic or um, a dancer or coordinated or anything flexible, none of that. But I walked in there and I took this class and I'd never sweat more in my entire life. I didn't know what the hell had happened to me, but um, I felt amazing and, and Brian's teaching really um, was congruent with all the Buddhist teaching and um, Taoist teaching that I'd been studying and suddenly I was able to embody some of that philosophy and that um, at that point, I was in. So my influences for teaching yoga, Brian's obviously a big one, and I've studied with a number of other really amazing, influential teachers like Eric Schiffman and Max Strom, Saul David Ray, uh, Rod Stryker. Um, I'm also super inspired by Dr. Martin Luther King and Gandhi and uh, Bob Marley. Um, John Lennon, uh, just the great teachers of the world. And by teachers, I mean the people who've taught peace and freedom and um, truth by example. Through my teaching, my, my aim is to help people feel better. And the theory is that when people feel better, they're more at peace, they're more fulfilled, they're, um, they're not fighting. And so the more we have that, the better the world is. When I began, I think that it was a lot of struggle and I felt like the, um, the practice wasn't complete unless I'd suffered immensely in order to get to the end result of feeling better and Shavasana and um, having that freedom in my body. And over the years, it's evolved way more into the integration of the practice in my day-to-day -day living, bringing mindfulness to everything that I'm doing, uh, in theory. I mean, that's a practice. It's become more a life practice, I think, and less something that I only do on my mat. So that's how you do it, is you start to bring the things that you're learning in your down dog as far as presence. and and being, your, being present with yourself and tolerating the consequences of being yourself. And you start to bring that into your daily life. Mindfulness, especially um, just as we wake up to what we're doing, it, the infusion of mindfulness in our day-to-day -day actions is the most potent practice that I've ever experienced, and that is yoga in action. So get on your mat, whatever you do, <laughs> makes the world a better place.